Aloha. My name is Dr. Stephanie Hahn. I'm just in from a great time in the water. Um, I would like to explain to you what you might look for in a class. Okay, so if you want to learn craft skills um, and basic technique, there are many, many people who can teach this to you very well. There are tons of books. There's a lot of material. There's a lot of online classes you can take. Um, there are instructors to teach you this on every level. So that's the basics in terms of what um, you can get from any type of class. If you want to understand more elements of creative process and voice, you need to think more carefully about who you study with and why. Because voice is this idea of the individual self. If you have a good instructor, you're gonna be questioning your framework. You're gonna be exploring your outlook in terms of your global perspective and your personal perspective and how that affects your literary world making and your characters that you choose to write about. So to explore voice requires you, if you really explore it well, to be vulnerable and to ask questions that might even be a little dangerous to your own sense of self and what you believe. Creative process is this idea of figuring out how we make art and why we make art. So it intersects with ideas of learning about voice, right? It's what is the best situation or what compels us to create. Creative process classes, again, you can learn a lot of creative process techniques from a variety of people, but the discovery and the sharing of this within a group context, it is important for you to feel okay about discussing this with your instructor as well as the people around you. A lot of times you can have a not so great instructor, but an awesome peer group and that will pull you through. Other times you have a fabulous instructor and you have a rather wretched peer group. In an ideal situation, you have a good instructor and a good peer group. And maybe from this peer group, there are one or two people that you keep in touch with. Um, and these people, you might be able to hold you accountable or maybe you're just gonna share tips or give each other pats on the back or watch each other as you are writing and producing um, your work as you move forward in the years of your life as a writer. Um, but it's important to have this kind of cheerleading squad of people who were in the trenches with you from the beginning. In any event, these are things for you to ponder as you choose your class and as you choose your instructor. Um, for me, what I try to do as an instructor is really focus on voice. Um, focus on how the individual comes to terms with what she wants to say in her writing. I think for me, this is the most important thing. I also teach technique. You have to have technique and craft, but you need to have a certain strength of voice or all the technique in the world won't matter. And actually vice versa is also true. So both those are important. Um, anyway, that's about it. Thought I'd give you the little hint. If you're looking for classes, uh, register at drstephaniehan.com online or look around for other classes. You shouldn't only be studying with one person. I know I'm saying that and I'm a writing instructor, but it's true. You should try different kinds of people to study with. Um, and please sign up for my Substack newsletter and uh, subscribe to this YouTube channel for more hints on writing, reading, literature, creative process, all that kind of stuff and subscribe to this YouTube channel. So go to drstephaniehan.com. Aloha, bye, jump in the water, do something in nature. You're gonna feel awesome, bye.